Exercise 3. Create horizontal alignment using regression points. In this exercise, you will learn how to create a horizontal alignment using the regression tools. The skills taught are convert rails to center line, create a horizontal curvature diagram, single horizontal regression, create complex alignment from elements, create complex spirals, edit complex alignment, and create a report of the slews. First, we're going to create a new 2D DGN file to store in our horizontal regressed alignment. So we're going to go to File, New, and the name we're going to give to this uh, file is metric regression dot dgn and we're going to give this a 2d seed file and we're using the same 2d seed file that we use for the rails which is the project 2d seed m and i'm just going to save that new file And once the file is saved, I'm quickly just going to go to uh, the settings of the file. So I want to go to File, Settings, and Settings of the file. Go to the Design File Settings. You can see here there is your uh, units that we're working in. I'm just going to go to Civil Formatting, and I'm changing the format of the stationing. That is a user preference, so it's entirely up to you whether you do that or not. I'm just going to go OK and save those settings. Right, we need now to attach three files. The files we need to attach are the metric OG terrain and also the metric existing left rail and existing right rail. So from the Home tab, from the Primary Tools, I'm going to go to the Attach Reference Tool. And I'm going to attach reference and I'm going to select all the files I want to attach in one go. So using my control button, I'm going to pick the metric existing left rail, the metric existing right rail and the metric uh, OG terrain. And just open up selection and you'll get the reference attachment properties and this will run through three times because we've attached three files so OK OK and OK and then I'm going to close the reference dialog box and I'm then going to hit my fit view and there you will see on the outside the terrain model and then on the inside the two rails one the left and one the right now that we have all the files attached, I'm going to make the terrain model active. So using my element selection tool, I'm going to select the boundary of the terrain model and wait for the context sensitive toolbar to pop up. And the second icon is to set as active terrain. So I'm now going to deselect and then I'm going to go to file and save the settings. In the section, Convert Rails to Centerline, you will create a horizontal centerline geometry from the left and right rails. The rail alignment will only contain line strings, curves, but no spirals. So, from the rail ribbon, and we're going to go to the regression tools here. I'm just going to window in so that I can access the left and right rails more easily. And I'm going to go to the option to convert rails to centerline.
On the dialog box, I'm going to set the feature definition to geom temp and the prefix, the name I'm going to give to this uh, line, I'm going to call it regression line. I'm also now prompted for the left rail and the right rail. So following the prompts, I'm going to select the left rail first, select the right rail, and let the software process the line. And again, now using my element selection tool, if I window in, you can see now here is the uh, regression line down the center of the left and right rails. Along with the regression line, regression points are created also along the line of the regression. They have been placed on a default level in the DGN. So we're going to transfer them to a more identifiable level. So we're going to go back to home ribbon. And we're going to go to the level display. And you can see here that the default level is, is still on. And we're still in the metric regression dot DGN. And I'm just going to go right click in here and I'm going to select all off. OK. Now, using my element selection tool, I'm going to extend the settings. And I'm going to the level tab here. And from the level tab, I'm going to select the default level. Now, if I just window out a little bit, you will see that the regression point here is highlighted. And it's highlighted 423 of those points. And I'm just going to hop my cursor over one of those points and go to the properties of the point. And you can see here that there's no feature definition set. So I'm just going to change this feature definition to point, rail, regression point. And I'm just going to deselect in the screen. If you now on the level display panel, select the used, you can see that the used level is now rail regression point. So all those points were been transferred from the default level to the rail regression point level. We can also verify that by going to the level manager. And you can see if you order these by used, you can see their 423 points are now transferred to the rail regression point level. So I'm just going to close the level display panel. I'm just going to collapse the extended settings on the element selection tool. The next step is to create the horizontal curvature diagram. This tool displays a diagram representing curvature along the path of the regression points in a horizontal alignment. While regression analysis can be done directly on the regression line, a, con a curvature diagram makes it easier to identify curves, tangents and spirals. This tool operates on the raw regression line and you do not need to perform any regression analysis before running this tool. The first thing that I'm going to do is to switch off the display of the left and right rail. So I'm going to go back to the home tools. I'm going to go back to the primary tools, the, go to the attached tools, references and select the left rail and just switch off the display of the left and switch off the display of the right rail. On the display, all that we're left with is the regression points, but actually what I need is the regression line. So again, I'm going to go back to the primary tools. I'm going to go to level display and I'm going to switch on the geom 
temp level. And I can switch off the rail regression points if I want to. That's optional. It's entirely up to the user. In order that we can create the horizontal curvature diagram, we need a, another view. So in the display that we have currently on the screen, I'm just going to hold my right mouse button down, select view control and select two views, plan profile. And he says, select OK to create a dynamic profile view. I'm just going to go OK on that. And then again, before I do anything else, I'm just going to go and go to the view option at the top and put arrange. So they are now arranged one underneath the other. And I'm just going to save those settings. OK, we're going to go back to the rail ribbon. And we're going to go back to the option here to create a horizontal curvature diagram. And we're going to select here the, the regression line. Uh, again, it's optional whether you want to uh, display the cant or not. Uh, I'm not going to display the cant at this point. And you'll notice on the dialog box, it's talking about removing outliers. And this is going to refine the number of points in the raw regression data that will not be displayed in the regression diagram. There are three options. There's a standard deviation multiplier of 1.5, and this is the most aggressive option. It removes points that are more than 1.5 standard deviation away from the mean. A multiplier of three is a moderate option. And a multiplier of 4.5 is the least aggressive option. Now, I'm not going to remove outliers, so I'm just going to leave to display all the points. So I'm just going to accept not to display the cant and select in the regressive view. And there is our curvature diagram. And you can see here, these are the options of the points against chainage or station. Anything that is below a line is a left-hand curve. Anything on a line is a tangent. Anything above the line, the median line, is a right-hand curve. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.